eat his fish. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Oh. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Somebody, some, somebody big tried to hop this thing. Look at that. It said, Burr. broke it for everybody. What's this? My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Well, that's not good. Poor Milton. There we go. The better. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. This. Nice looking. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Huh. Okay. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, okay, we just picked that right open. Just end it all. Sorry, Milton! Set. Nice little waterfall. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Well, we're about to find out today. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. It's down this way. Oh, off the beaten path. I didn't think it'd let me come all the way over here. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. What is so crazy about this house? The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Maybe they are. Maybe you're just not listening right. house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Can I, hold on, before we do that, can I go back and try the other road? I know it's going to be kind of a pain, you know, a little extra time. Got to sit through this video, but I want to see what happens if I, what's up on that side, what she says up there.
So am am I Edith Finch or what? Okay. See what she says about up here. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Hmm. Hello. Okay, that's it. I got to see a see a deer. <laughs> yes. All right, whatever. A little anticlimactic. All right, now Washington, huh? Up to the house. What the hell is that? I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. What? As a child? The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Don't be afraid. It's the house. Does he mean to tell me somebody wheels this crap some way the hell out there? Whoa! Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Power had been turned off the night we left. Hey. For the first time in years. January twenty ten. Felt like I was home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Hmm. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh, I bet Molly loved that. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Uh. 
Why do we just up and leave with all this stuff here? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. After it sank? Whoa! Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. He built this place? Wild. All these bugs. The hell is that? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Uh, let me in there! After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Peepholes. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. Jesus. Hmm. Wait, does that mean I can look in here right quick? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What the f- Where? There are a lot of freaking books, man. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. She was a movie star? I wonder why they could afford all this shit. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Poor Barbara. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Well, that's kind of cool. Gregory. I only lived As a year. kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Okay. Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Oh my god, that's horrible. Command center.
I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, shit! Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Well, hold on a second. Before we do that, what's, what's this attic? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Dang. Where the hell does that room go into? That doesn't make any snits. Oh, maybe. Maybe it does. Alright, let's see what we were what mama was scared of. Reading this. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Cat. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Hmm. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. That's funny. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. My Halloween candy was all gone. That's not good. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. What's this way? I kept eating and eating. Toothpaste? I just eat toothpaste? Then I heard chirping outside my window. I ate a lot of things that night. I don't think you're supposed to eat those. <laughs> Eating Christopher, but I held back. Uh, Jesus, how hungry is this kid? It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, Whoa. it was a cat. 
What? I'm a cat. What the f- I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Come back here, kitty. All right, birdie. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Hey! Not the babies. I jumped and I almost got her. She was getting really tired. The hell is this? Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Hold up. Back in the big tree. Yeah. Come here, Mama Bird. I gobbled her up. <laughs> and suddenly, I was an owl. What the? F First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh, I was 
hungrier than ever. Here, little fishy, fishy. You go. Bana bana bana. Oh, so jumped out of the water. What the? F when I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What the hell is that? Is that me? What the fuck? Now I was a monster and I smelled people up. I was still hungry. And across the water, I saw something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Yes. Ah. Oh, yes. The toilet. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I got closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, 
I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. What the fuck? I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. We keep going, right? <laughs> 